Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Bullring E-Track ratchet straps. We've got two lengths here with us. The blue one is 20 feet long and the gray one that we've got attached already is 16 feet long. They're going to share the same weight capacity and offer the same benefits, but you have a couple different choices for the length. Let's check them out. Now these are going to be a really nice addition to your trailers, whether it's a utility or enclosed trailer, anywhere where you've got some E-Track that you need to tie something down. I will say that these are quite long for our particular application today, but it certainly gets the job done. The generator is more than heavy enough to mostly hold itself down, but having some straps to keep it in place really helps. The one thing I will say about this style of strap, having to hook into the E-Track, is the fact that you may be a little bit limited with it, just because you're not going to want to twist these straps too much, or at least I wouldn't. Personally, if you need to hook up to a spot where it's maybe going to twist the strap, I'd look into maybe an E-Track anchor point, like a D-ring, and then just use a regular ratchet strap to hook up. But for these straight line paths, these straps are great because they hook right in, go right over the top, and then the free end will hook into the other side and just operate like a normal ratchet strap from there. So these are going to work just like any other E-Track accessory. We've got the trigger up top that will be the point that locks in and feeds into the E-Track first. So by pulling that, feeding it in, and then pulling it up, you can see it's locked in. Then to release, we just repeat that same process, but in reverse. So we can mix and match, move this around the E-Track wherever we need it, and get our tie-down point. So for our extra strap today, you see I've got one going around the side into the E-Track that we've got on the wall. I'm going to do one on the ground, kind of feeding up over top of the generator just to make sure it's boxed in on all sides. And like I said, this is quite long for our application. Really, we don't need this much length. But if you do have longer cargo, it'll work really well. The one thing I just want to make sure of is that I'm trying to keep the strap straight because I don't want it to get twisted up too much. The free end of our strap will feed through the ratcheting mechanism, just like our regular ratchet strap. We'll pull out all that slack. And if you're tying down something maybe a bit more size appropriate, you probably won't have to deal with all that. But once it's tied down, engage that ratcheting mechanism and start to tighten it down. And like I said, we've already got our gray strap tightened down and secured. And this thing is rock solid. It's not moving because we've got this one holding it down from the top, this gray one from the side, so it's boxed in. Definitely makes for a really easy tie down point, having it just hooked directly into the E-Track there, limiting our points of movement. And for our 20 foot strap here, you can see just how much we have left over. So if we've got anything bigger in the trailer here, we can more than easily tie it down with these straps. The 16 foot and the 20 foot one aren't gonna be that different overall. So I think really they're gonna be good for larger cargo or just larger loads in general. The strap itself is going to be a polyester webbing. It's gonna hold up really well to different weather conditions and it feels really good quality with all the reinforced stitching throughout. The weight capacity of these straps, like I said, is going to be the exact same, whichever size you get. 1,500 pounds of safe working load limit and 4,500 pounds of brake strength. So just make sure you're not overloading them when you're using them but I think for most applications, they should be really good. The metal components here are gonna be steel with a nice plating on top. That's gonna to help it resist rust and corrosion. So if you aren't using it in an enclosed trailer like this, where it'll be exposed to the elements and moisture, it should hold up to it over time. And undoing them, of course, we've got the release integrated into that ratcheting mechanism. Nothing's coated on here, it's all just bare metal. So if it's cold outside, it's gonna be cold to the touch but it doesn't feel uncomfortable in the hand. Overall, the ratcheting mechanism feels quite smooth and easy to operate even when you're getting it started here. It's pretty easy to get it going. All the clicks feel nice and strong. And I'm not too worried about it over time being hard to operate. And if you've got a ton of E-Track in your trailer like this one, I think it gives you a lot of options to tie things down and something like this could be very useful. I'd say if you've only got a few sections of E-Track though, and you're often finding yourself using ratchet straps with tie down rings, and you're not always able to get a straight path for straps like these, then just stick with D-rings. That's gonna be a lot easier to mix and match and adapt to different loads, 
because with these straps, I think they really excel in these straight line paths rather than being able to twist and move around like a ratchet strap might hook onto a D-ring. Otherwise though, whatever strap you end up picking up and whatever tie down style you go with, I think it's gonna be a really solid fit. It works really well at the E-Track and gives us tons of options to adapt to different loads and make sure we're carrying everything nice and solid. Thanks for watching.